Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new uh, Cheeto Immobile Team of the Season card to review today. So, uh, we are taking a look at a card that is six foot one, high medium work rates, right footed, three star skills with a four star weak foot. Player traits in game, we are looking at the outside foot shot traits, no finesse shot traits. Uh, in game attributes is at 91 94 for pace, so the engine chemistry style will be boosting that up to a 96 99. Uh, base card stats for shooting is set up really nicely, except for the long shot area, but everything else is pretty cool with 99 attacking positioning to work with the high medium work rates, 99 finishing to work with the 95 shot power, uh, and then the volume is definitely nice to have with the penalties. Uh, base card stats for passing. For a striker is obviously very nice as well. You don't really need crossing that often for the strikers anyway, so that shouldn't really be a problem uh, for a card like this. Uh, with dribbling, we do have to improve it as much as possible because he is a physical-oriented striker, right? So physical-oriented strikers are cards you want to improve in the dribbling department as much as possible. However, with the Mobile's card, he actually has a unique body type, so we're going to obviously see how that performs in-game with the dribbling boost that we are giving him. I do expect it not to be that great, but obviously we'll see in game uh, base card stats for defending is at 95 for heading accuracy which is cool to work with uh, especially since he's six foot one so if i have to cl clear the ball out he can actually win the ball in the air 86 for stamina so you want to keep him on stay forward 85 for strength with 85 aggression to work with some decent pace while having a six foot one height and i think his body type is kind of stockish right if it's anything like real life so we'll see if that's what his unique body type will actually be and then he also has an 85 for jumping so uh, an interesting card. It is a physical-oriented striker, which kind of strays away from the meta of the game when they're missing certain things, especially uh, since he does have three-star skills. Kind of kind of makes it a little bit more linear. Uh, with Immobile, we will be trying him out in the 4-3-1-2 formation, where he'll be playing up top in the striker position uh, on the left side to test out finesse shots potentially going on the inside and getting some certain area, uh, certain opportunities here and there. Vidal will switch here. We'll switch here. Let me just get out of this quickly. Vidal here. Okay. Yeah, so the only thing that I'm going to have on Immobile is getting behind. So getting behind should be okay for him because he has the 99 attacking positioning and the high medium work rate. It's not like a medium medium or anything like that. So I do expect him to move across the pitch nicely. But we'll obviously see in-game. Let's see what he's about. Okay. Uh, I like the team. I mess with the hardcore man, very nice. Oh, I try to get the finesse shot angle right there. I'm kind of, I was kind of hoping, right? Like when it's like physical oriented strikers, it'd be nice if they gave them like the finesse shot traits and stuff to kind of work with. But um you try your best in those such certain situations, excuse me. <clears throat> Okay, so that situation right there, he does get in behind, but he doesn't do the adjustment to the bottom there because that run that he continued to make didn't really make much sense. Um, so, yeah. Try to get the near post angle right there, the Immobile. Nothing doing for me there. Oh, oh! I try to get the uh, far angle there. It didn't really work out either. Yeah, I try to work the finesse shot angle there too. Nothing given as well. Yeah, so with cards like this, you want to try to work the directional nutmeg angle as much as possible. Maybe go for like a near post strike or something. He does have the four star weak foot to work with. Hmm, I'll try to do like a fake shot, then like an instant touch right there with the left stick. Um, didn't really do it that quickly, to be fair. Oh, register to a uh, register to the player EA. Come on. There we go, Immobile. Good touch. 
Very good last second touch. Small little touch afterwards to get the near pulse angle. Good goal. We'll take it. Okay. Um, we're going to take off the get in behind instruction off the card just for now. Uh, we're going to keep them both on balanced and then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. On get in behind, he's not really making like the craziest of runs. Maybe on balance, he'll definitely pick and choose his runs a little better. We'll see. Oh, we hit the post right there. No way. That first touch that he did was actually really helpful to get the uh, the right angle right there. Oh, see right there? He does a turnaround shot. That's not what I'm going for. I want to do the, uh, the extra dribbles to uh, open up the space for like a finesse or something. But it's tough to work with the... Dribbles on him because of him being like a physical oriented striker. There we go. We'll take that. Good little play there. Had to work some space there with Vidal. We scored the opportunity. Nice. So right there, I just wanted to shoot right away because once you get inside the 18-yard box, it's actually more ideal to just do that. Since it's not like around the middle area of the 18, he's not going to hit it like as consistently. Uh, but I can tell you guys this right now, just from this game, it's a pretty generic card for the most part. For the most part, like it seems like a uh, sentimental value FC card for sure. Yeah, so that's me just working the shot cancel angle, doing some extra dribbles to test it out. It's not great. It's not great. What sucks is that his attacking AI is actually like decent. So after putting it on the balance, I am noticing that it's okay. Um, but he's just not explosive at doing them, right? Because of the body type, physical type striker, right? So see, like his movement is actually pretty decent. Like in that situation right there, he found himself in a really good situation to score that opportunity. That's how you have to play with physical type strikers though. Like you kind of just have to see if they themselves kind of like open up the space. Like you won't really open up the space with them by dribbling too much or using headers because it's not really ideal for these types of cards, but. Yeah, so right there, see like how I make this space with the midfielder and then he goes into the space immediately in the middle. That's nice, right? But I, I need to get a little bit of extra space there in the attack for me to potentially score there. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new team of the season, Cheeto Immobile SBC. So we gave him an engine chemistry style to try to improve his dribbling pace and passing as much as possible while working with good shooting and good physicality. We tried him out on the get him behind instruction. We tried him out on the bounce instruction. I liked him more on the bounce instruction to allow him to play the way that he wanted to play. Uh, his attacking AI is decent, but it's not as explosive because he has to work with his six foot one height and unique body type. His unique body type in game is kind of stockish, right? So because it's a stockish body type, uh, his dribbling is just not going to feel that responsive regardless of us putting the dribbling stats into the 90s for this card uh, to be honest with you his dribbling and the way that he performs in game is kind of generic for the most part uh, there's nothing like too special about him with his shooting you'll get into certain situations where you will obviously be able to potentially score but it's going to be based off of him getting into the right situations at the right time himself rather than it is uh, based off of you dribbling to kind of getting into the spaces, right? Like you kind of have to rely on him just being smart enough to get into the right areas at the right time to take a touch and immediately shoot. But even if he does, his shooting doesn't really feel special by any means. Like 95 shot power should be bangers for a card like this. But I really feel like with Cheeto, 
uh, his six foot one height and unique body type, it affects the card way too much in the game. That makes him incredibly generic for the gameplay of FIFA. Um, this is definitely a card that you get or unlock for Sentimental Value FC. I don't really think he's going to offer too much in your team unless you want to have fun with him in your squad. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.